Hey guys, what's up? It is right now 5.45 and it is Thursday. My spring break starts tomorrow and I'm doing something absolutely crazy. Instead of going to the beach, enjoying my spring break, relaxing, I have decided to work eight night shifts in a row. Why have I decided this? Well, number one, I love me some money. <laughs> And number two, this is what I do every single spring break and I've just decided to vlog and take you guys along. Um, so today is the day before my night shifts. Today is Thursday and um, I've already had class today, went to the gym and right now I'm gonna take a little nap because I wanted to show you guys what I do to prepare for a night shift. So basically when I um, go on a string of night shifts, I will either uh, the day before stay up as late as I possibly can, which is what I'm gonna do today. So today I'm gonna try to stay up till three or 4 p.m. The later I stay up, the better. So that way Friday, the day I start my night shifts, I'm already on night shift schedule. I will wake up late in the afternoon and I'll be ready to stay up all night. Or if I don't have the option of doing that, so like if you guys didn't know, I'm still a student and so sometimes I can't uh, I can't afford to sleep all day. So what I will do is take a nap right before my shift and then that way that helps me stay up through the night. So today I woke up at like 9 a.m. Um, so I wanna get a little nap in right now just so that I can stay up tonight. Um, because I'm working so many shifts in a row, I need to meal prep. So I'm gonna show you guys what I meal prep as well as I need to run to Sam's Club at some point, Torrent, and I need to get a case of energy drinks because your girl's gonna need a lot of caffeine over these next few days. So if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed. Um, I'm gonna be putting out a bunch more ER tech content, a bunch more college lifestyle content. I know I kind of went MIA for a little month on you guys, but I was just super, super busy with school but I've kind of ranged school in now and I'm so excited to be back and making more YouTube videos. So let's get this nap in. Then I need to shower because my hair is an absolute mess. Um, I personally like to start with like fresh showered styled hair just because I know that during this string of shifts, I'm not gonna want to be messing with my hair. So gotta figure out what I'm gonna do after the nap with this little rat's nest we got going on here um, and then we need to just prep for all these shifts, baby. What's up guys, it's eight o'clock. I'm still crusty and dusty. Torin just took out the trash. It was quite the escapade. Um, he did not let me film it, even though it was hilarious. Any comment, Torin? Uh, no. Um, anyway. Torn's my boyfriend, if y'all are just tuning in now. We live together. It's a great time. <laughs> Torn, how would you rate um, living with me? One out of ten. Uh, two. Like, like one being the best. That's why it's a two, right? Uh, sure. Don't know how to transition that, so moving on. Oh yeah, I know how I'll transition that. Just woke up from a nap and I'm gonna cook for him. Yes. You, wanna, you wanna redo that ranking? As the person who's gonna be preparing your food? Uh, nine out of 10. All right, so yeah, I marinated some chicken. Um, this is gonna be one of my meal preps for um, all my overnight shifts. So, marinated some chicken. I'm gonna put it out on the countertop, let it kind of not be so cold. That's a tip from Gordon Ramsay. Don't put your cold chicken in the warm oven. Let it, you know, not like get to room temp, but you know, don't let it be refrigerator temperature. Um, and then I have some chicken breasts I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with. Um, I bought a bunch of potatoes. So we're gonna make mashed potatoes just because I feel like that'll be really good to eat overnight shift. I personally am a savory person and when I work nights, for whatever reason, I crave um, like really savory um, fatty foods. So like mashed potatoes will hit the spot. Um, 
And then, oh yes, I'm also going to make an egg bake, which is absolutely amazing. If you are not on the egg bake train yet, you should definitely join. We'll make that together here in a moment. We're gonna make the chicken really quick because it's eight o'clock. We napped a little longer than anticipated. Um, but you know, it's fine. We got all night. We're not going to bed till four, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh my god, we didn't go to Sam's. We're gonna have to go tomorrow. I need my Alani's. Time they close. Alexa, what time does Sam's Club close? Sam's Club on Conley Road in Columbia is currently closed, but will be open tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Alright, well there you go. We're gonna have to go tomorrow. Um, oh those will cook fast. Cause they're thin. Yeah. They're still, they're still gonna, cause how, how much time total does that need? A while. What's a while? Uh, well it's 12 minutes, so that's when it like pressurizes and it's fully going, but... Uh, these are going to take, Torn, these are going to take still 25 minutes. Because I'm not cooking them at 400. I'm cooking them at 375. Yeah, 375. We're doing the Casey Smith method on these. 375. Huh? 375. 375 feeling alive. Uh, I, would, I would wait like a little bit. I wait like five. I'm telling you right now, these are going to take longer than you think. It's like chicken does not cook fast. That's gonna only take 12 minutes? No, not, it has to pressurize. Well, it's How it's much okay. total time are the mashed potatoes going to take? Uh, like 30 or so. Okay, these are gonna take 25. Yeah, but then we still have to stir up the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna kill you. I'm, I'm getting in the shower. You can put them in when you wanna put them. Okay. okay. Why is nothing ever easy? Part of me wants to do something a little crazy and like braid my hair, like add extensions, but that'd be such a waste for work. Yeah, why would you add extensions? Because I like, I like it. Well, you always start it and then you like regret starting it. It takes so long. I know. I need, I need to teach you how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're recording? No, of course not. Why would I ever record our mundane conversations? <laughs> he hates the camera. <laughs> So it is much, much later. It is 11.40 right now. I braided my hair and I am not quite sure how I feel about it. I parted it differently how I normally part it. And if you know, you know, whenever you do something new, you're kind of like, I love it or I hate it or I'm not sure how I feel about it. And that's the stage we're in. We're not sure how we feel about her. Um, but you know what? It's just hair for I feel like what bothers me is this piece like this piece needs to be more angled back Like this one. So maybe I just need to rebraid that piece and then I'll like it Maybe I'll just tuck her behind my ear um But yeah, I just wanted to braid my hair just because I know I won't have the energy this week And the more parts I put in my hair the longer it lasts. So we did five little braids Oh, see, it doesn't feel comfy behind my ear, so it has to hang. Oh, I don't know if I like her. I don't know if I like her hanging, hanging out by herself up front. What do you, how do you feel about it? Uh, what about the other one? The other one goes behind my ear. See, that's why I think I messed up, because this one just goes straight down. So I feel like I'm asymmetrical, but not in a good way. Mm, I don't think it's noticeable. This is coming from the man who, what, there was something about me you didn't notice for a long time. Mm, must have been nothing. No, it was something. All right, anyway, off to my tangent. So, I have, oh, let's talk about the meal prep. Oh my God, we need to make the egg bake. We gotta make the egg bake. Let's start making the egg bake. Um... So we cooked chicken, we made mashed potatoes, and actually, right now, 
let's pack our lunch for tomorrow. So then that way I'm not having to worry about it. So I just have this cute, oh, I'm also wearing my jammies. So, you know, we're very cozy around here. So I've got this little lunch box. Let's angle y'all down. Got this little lunch box. Um, I'll put the coolie packs in it tomorrow because obviously I'm not leaving for work yet, so don't want it to get not cold. But wait, 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 wait. What? You should wait to make the egg bay. Why? Um, I have so you want it, you want to eat it for second dinner, is that why? Yeah. He's so spoiled. Fine, I'll wait. If you guys don't know, my boyfriend. He does not eat, what was it, second breakfast? And second dinner. No, what is it they say in Lord of the Rings? Second, second breakfast. breakfast yeah. So yeah, in Lord of the Rings they say second breakfast. Around here we say second dinner because right before he goes to bed he eats another full meal. So we will wait to make the egg bake because heaven forbid he has to reheat second dinner. Heaven forbid second dinner is not fresh. All right, let's pack our lunch. So. In here, also, I need you guys to not walk, run to your local Aldi's. I got these little containers. I think they were either $3.99 or $4.99, and they're super nice because they are collapsible. Oh, my camera's about to die. Great. But yeah, so I've just got, um, I've got a vegetable, chicken, or mashed potatoes, chicken in here. So that will be like my main meal. Um, I try to bring like, since I'm gonna be working a full 12, I try to bring one main meal and maybe like three or four snacks. So I'll probably make um, a protein shake. All right, I'm gonna make an adult little Lunchable. This is so cute. See, this is another one of those little collapsible containers I got from Aldi's, but, so I'm gonna put grapes in one, um, prosciutto, cheese, and crackers. So that'll be super yummy. It is much, much later. Um, sorry I didn't show you guys uh, what all I packed. I'll make sure I show you guys tomorrow. My camera died. Um, but we did go ahead and prep the egg bake. Mm -mm -mm. She looks so good. We're gonna try a little bit tonight. Torin is staying up with me because he's a night owl. Time check, it is 2.03, so we are doing great. If I could stay up till four, preferably 5 a.m., I will be rock solid. Um, what time are you going to bed? Are you going to go to bed at 3? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so if I can stay up two hours later than Torin, I am perfect. So right now, me and Torin are watching our favorite cooking show because we are an old domestic couple. Um, we're watching Next Level Chef. Uh, so I'm going to watch this with him. I'm going to stay up with him as late as I can because obviously it is easier to stay up late when someone's with you. And then, yeah, and then when he goes to bed, I'm probably gonna edit some YouTube videos and then I'll go to bed. What uh, what tips do you have for uh, couples that are going through night shift together when one's on night shift and the other isn't? Um, play video games. That's your, that's your, t play video games when? When you're asleep. Oh, yeah. I'd say the biggest tip is do not wake the other one up unless they tell you to because I remember one time, like I think the maddest I've ever been at Torin was one time he was laying in bed next to me and it was like 3 p.m. and I had went to bed at like 9 a.m. and I was like deep in my sleep and he was on his phone and he woke me up at noon uh, because his phone accidentally played a sound and I had only been asleep for three hours. I had just gotten to sleep and then I could not go back to sleep. And I've never been so angry with him than in that moment. You wanna put more on your plate? Yeah. Maybe, there we go. That's literally like two cups of potatoes. It's fine. Does anyone else's boyfriend eat like this? Like, oh my god. I promise you they do. Please, someone comment down below if anyone else's boyfriend. This, you have to remember, this is not first dinner. This is second dinner. You're not gonna be able to finish that. It's only my third meal of the day. So, really That looks like, like diabetes on a plate. 
It's really kind of like dinner. Good morning, you guys. It is about 3.45 right now. I woke up at three, and then I just laid in bed for 40 minutes and, you know, scrolled through social media. Um, I just posted on my Instagram. Um, I've got my little workout outfit on. Torin calls these my rainbow fish leggings. Um, you can make your own assumptions. I absolutely love them. Uh, this whole outfit is from my favorite activewear brand, Buff Bunny, not sponsored, just love them. Um, Last night, I went to sleep at 4.30, so we definitely met the goal of staying up late. I was not productive, though. Let's make our pre-workout because I'm yawning. Uh, Torin is studying right now because he is just so productive. But yeah, let's make our pre-workout. You guys are inside my kitchen cabinet right now. Um, but yeah, my goal for these night shifts, um, like I said, I'm doing eight in a row. Because I'm absolutely crazy. Um, but my goal is I want to be still working out. That's something that I do struggle with working night shift, especially working so many in a row. So I kind of want to get on the schedule of when I get home. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Trying to multitask and my brain just woke up, so I'm not thinking. Um... But yeah, my goal for these night shifts is, like I said, I still want to be working out. So I want to be waking up around 3.34. That gives me enough time to go to the gym. That gives me time to see Torin. And I feel like if I wake up too late, I do become a little cranky. So hopefully by waking up at this time, I won't be cranky. I'm just a little tired, but that is what pre-workout's for. My, but yeah, my biggest tip for you guys who are thinking about working night shift or who are struggling to adjust to night shift is commit to the nights. Don't be doing that flip-flopping. So like if you're, try to schedule your night shifts in a row. Um, and then if you do have a break between shifts that day that you're not working, stay on night shift. Do not try to flip-flop back to day shift because it's honestly, working night shift itself is not hard. Like the first day is the hardest, which that's why I stayed up late yesterday. So today will be the hardest, but then I'll be on night shift schedule, and so I'll be fine. But what's hard is flipping back to days. So like when all these shifts are over and I have to wake back up at a normal time, that is what absolutely sucks. So little tip for all you future night shift workers out there. Number one, try to schedule all your shifts in a row. If you can't do that, commit to the nights. Do not flip back and forth because that's when you feel like ass. So just got done with the gym. Me and Torin are headed to Sam's Club just because I need a couple things before uh, the shift starts. It's 5.30 right now. I have to be at work. Oh, f I need to leave for work in an hour. I need to leave at 6.30. But my lunch is already packed, so that's good. Um, and then I basically just need to change in my scrubs. Um, if you guys are interested in- Sponsored by Yeti. No, not sponsored by Yeti, but Yeti, I have noticed. Yeti used to never work with influencers and I noticed that they're starting to work with it now. So Yeti, if you interested. If you are true, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I use Yeti water bottles. I use Yeti, uh, the slim koozie cups. We are Yeti people in this I've household. I've had this Yeti for like more than two years now. All right, if anyone has the Yeti hookup, let me know. But yeah, like I was saying, if you guys are interested in my workouts, I didn't bring you guys to the gym just because I don't know if you guys are interested in that content. If you are, comment, let me know, and I'll bring you to the gym. But otherwise, you guys should check out my Instagram. I've been really trying to put more of my fitness stuff over there. Um, but yeah, so at, what do you need from Sam's? You probably want alcohol for this weekend, right? Probably. For those that are 21 plus, um, we are obsessed with Sam's Club vodka. You totally could have gone through that. Nah. We are on a, we are on a tight schedule here, sir. We're good. <sighs> All right, but yeah, we are obsessed with Sam's Club vodka. The price, it is super, super affordable, and it's actually really good. Like, I have taken shots of it, like, not chilled, like, room temperature, and it actually goes down pretty smooth. And then if you chill it, oh my God, it goes down so smooth, mixes well with everything. 10 out of 10 recommend Sam's Club vodka. Um, so we're probably gonna pick up that. I need a whole case of Alani New Energy drinks um, because, you know, I love freaking caffeine and Alani New and Celsius, those are my favorite energy drinks. Um, so we need that. 
and then maybe if they have like good fruit because I absolutely love uh, eating fruit at work it's a really good snack it's a good pick-me-up for me um, but I really think that's all that we're going to Sam's for which is kind of a, a little bit of a trip to go all the way to Sam's just for a couple things but what can I say when you need the case of energy drinks that's where to get them Is this the good good? This is the good good. I was freaking out. They switched what spots they were in. But yeah, these are nice because an 18 pack is $35. So it ends up being, I think, like $1.94 a drink. And then if you normally buy these at like Hy-Vee Target, they're like $2.50 a drink. So saves you some money. Okay guys, so first of all, my bedroom is super messy. No judgment. Um, I'm not running late, but I don't have a lot of time. Um, right now, I've got my scrubs on. I'm putting on my compression socks, which um, I don't think you, well, for me, compression socks are a necessity, but I would, if you're like a new tech, I would definitely try, um, working a shift and see if you need them. Um, I knew I needed them because my leg or my calves were uh, going numb and starting to tingle. So um, these cute little cheetah compression socks, I actually don't recommend them. I got them from um, Scrubs and Beyond. My favorite compression socks I got from Amazon. I can leave a link down to them below. Sorry you guys, I'm trying to do this really, really fast. Are you gonna uh, use the bathroom? I'm vlogging right now. That's gross. All right, I'll use the other one. Yeah, they can hear you. <laughs> All right, so, oh wow, that is, she is bright. The sun said hello. Okay, so I've got on my uh, Cherokee Infinity Pink Scrubs. Just a little bit of jewelry to look feminine. Um, we need a mask. I personally wear satin masks just because I have acne prone skin and the satin really, really helps with that. Um, I want to, I need to get my lunch together. I need to put my AirPods back in, um, put my AirPods back in their case. Uh, I have so many things running through my mind right now. Okay, we're gonna bring two energy drinks tonight. We'll do an Alani New and a Celsius. The lineup tonight, Watermelon Wave and Sparkling Watermelon. And then I need my, this is gonna be so fun to edit. All right, we need this bad boy, see? Oh, what can I say guys, Yeti fan. So this thing is great because I drink my energy drinks kind of slow and it keeps my energy drinks super, super cold. So, get rid of this old one, put in the new one. This lunchbox is super great because perfect pockets for my energy drinks. This is my work tote, let me put you guys on my tripod because this is very hard to vlog right now. All right, if my, our apartment is messy, please don't judge us. We both are students and we're super, super busy. Also know that it's clean. Messy and dirty are two different things. It might be messy, but she's clean. All right, so this is my work tote, Buff Bunny. Absolutely love it, 10 out of 10. Um, has a nice pocket for my phone. And the best part is it has a insulated pocket underneath for snacks, which I love because I put my um, lunchbox in the break room fridge, um, but I keep this underneath, uh, like I keep this at the nurse's station and the break room is kind of far from the nurse's station. So it's nice to have snacks like right at the nurse's station and I know that they'll stay cool and insulated. So I love that. Um, as far as what I'm bringing for lunch, oh, well right now let's take care of the AirPods before I forget because Torin will be pissed if he has to come to the hospital tonight. Okay, AirPods are in the bag. All right, sir? 
Yeah. Okay, AirPods in the bag. Yeah, the laptop charger. Yeah, laptop. Oh, this is my work badge. We'll go. Let's pick out a badge buddy together. All my badge buddies are from My Fair Ellie. She's a small business. Absolutely love her. This is the badge buddy collection. Um, ooh, this would be kind of fun because I'm wearing pink tonight. Um, oh, waxed. I should. Okay, so this is maybe TMI, but I am getting a wax next week, so this should, would be really funny. Ah, that's kind of. Ooh, those. I might do those two together. Or. What else do we got? Maybe I'll do, actually I think I'll do these two. I'll save this one for actually when I have my wax done. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this stuff. Y'all must think I'm freaking crazy. Comment down below if you guys think I'm crazy. And this one. So this is the Badge Buddy lineup for tonight. Put that right there, okay. Badge is taken care of, oh I, I always bring my um, my laptop and my iPad to work just because I never know if I'm gonna get time to work on school um, and I always want to have it just in case so bringing my laptop my iPad I'm also gonna bring my laptop and iPad charger I'm gonna bring my airpod recently I've started bringing a stethoscope I don't think you need a stethoscope um, if uh, I'm sorry you guys, this clip is, y'all are, I'm gonna edit this and be like, this is a mess. Um, I don't think you need a stethoscope. Um, I personally just have one because I wanna go to nursing school and I'm trying to listen to breath sounds and you know, get some practice doing that in the ER. Unless you have like an extra $90 to burn. I mean, I know it's tax season if you're looking for a good way to spend your refund. Maybe get a stethoscope. Um, one thing I do think every tech should have is trauma shears. These are just cheap $10 shears. Um, definitely, like again, unless you have extra money to burn, don't buy expensive trauma shears. My $10 shears work amazing. Um, if you have, like I said, extra money looking for a way to spend your tax refund, then go ahead and upgrade your shears. Um, water bottle. And then for lunch, I think I showed you guys last night, I made like an adult little Lunchable. Um, I've got chicken, mashed potatoes, vegetables. Um, I think I'm gonna bring half a muffin. I don't have time to eat, I need to go now. But yeah guys! All right, I know like the last couple minutes have been kind of chaotic, but this is honestly what it's like before I go to work. I literally need to leave in two minutes. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I am actually about to start vlogging um, for my eight shifts in a row. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. So, make sure you guys subscribe and watch out for that video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions about night shift or ER teching, um, just leave a comment down below. I make sure I respond to every single comment. Love talking with you guys. And I'll see you guys later.